हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ वैष्णवी पुली वॉलेंटियर ऑफ अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेस द टॉपिक फॉर दिस वीडियो इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लैट एंड फिंगरप्रिंट्स यूजिंग पाउडर्स मेथड पार्ट वन लेट मी गोइंग टू कंटेंट ऑफ द टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ फिंगरप्रिंट्स कलेक्शन ऑफ पैटेंट एंड प्लास्टिक प्रिंट्स डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लैट एंड फिंगर प्रिंट्स बाई फिजिकल मेथड्स हिस्टोरिकल परस्पेक्टिव इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक Let's see how fingerprints are formed. Fingerprints are distinctive ridges appearing as corrugated lines on the tips of fingers and thumbs. Corrugation results due to rising of the portion of upper layer of the skin fingertip slightly above the normal level. Since the upper layer of the skin is called as epidermis, the finger ridges also referred to as epidermal ridges. and we can also call it as friction ridges the pattern on each finger of a person is unique that it is not repeated on other finger of the same person or on fingers of other persons this makes fingers the most infallible means of identification the identification marks of an individual is used as an investigative tool in the criminal cases hence fingerprints found at the crime scene led to more suspects and generated more evidences in the court than all other forensic techniques combined types of fingerprints there are three types of fingerprints they are number 1 pattern prints number 2 plastic impressions number 3 latin fingerprints let us get detail knowledge about the types of fingerprints number 1 pattern prints pattern prints are visible prints by unaided eye these are 2d in nature that is they are having length and width good example of a pattern print would be a greasy impression left on a window also blood paint ink mud dust etc are also examples plastic impressions these are formed when the razor friction ridges are physically pushed into the substrate creating the mold of the friction screen ridge on clay soft wax melted heavy grease paint and so on these are 3d in nature that is they are having length width and height and easily visible to human eye as patent prints and do not require any additional processing for visible purpose latent fingerprints the word latent means hidden or unseen latent prints are undetectable until brought out with a physical or chemical process to enhance latent prints residue a latent print residue is mixture of secretion of glands two major glands in dermis are sebaceous glands and sudoriferous glands the print is 99% water and rest is trace amounts of amino acids lipids urea lactic acid creatine and glucose and drugs The investigators use a general method of oblique lighting to locate latent prints at the scene of crime. After locating these prints, we use certain physical and chemical methods to develop these prints. Collection of patent and plastic prints. Patent prints are usually photographed for subsequent identification. Plastic impressions. Plastic impressions are generally collected and preserved by casting. a liquid material such as silicon rubber plastic plaster of paris or a metal alloy is poured over the fingerprint and hardened to make a cast of the impression the cast is much more durable than plastic print and further stored as an evidence development of latin fingerprints by physical methods physical methods for developing latin fingerprints comprises the use of various types of powders hence we can also call this method as powders method the powders technique for detecting latent prints involves the application of finely divided formulation to the finger mark impression generally using a glass fibers or camel hair brush the pictures shown below are camel hair brush and fiberglass brush the powder gets mechanically adds to the sweat residue detecting the ridge pattern the furrows which are devoid of fingerprint residue do not add the powder onto the them 
द फाइनल आउटकम इज दैट द पाउडर फॉर्मुलेशन स्टिक टू द रिजेस बट इज ईजीली ब्लोन ऑफ द फॉरस सिंस द पाउडर नॉर्मली कलर्ड द रिज पैटर्न बिकम विजिबल एंड लैटन प्रिंट इज सेट टू बी डेवलप हिस्टोरिकल पर्स्पेक्टिव द यूज फिंगर प्रिंट पाउडर्स डेट्स बैक टू द लास्ट टिकेट ऑफ नाइनटीन सेंचुरी सर एडवर्ड रिचर्ड हेनरी फ्रॉम एटीन फिफ्टी टू नाइनटीन थर्टी वन हु डिवाइज द फिंगर प्रिंट क्लासिफिकेशन फॉर्मुला रिकमेंडेड द यूज ऑफ मैक्यूरी बेस्ड एंड ग्रफाइड बेस्ड पाउडर्स द फॉर्मल फॉर्मुलेशन इज कॉल्ड एस हाइड्रोगरम कॉन्क्रीटा वॉज कंपोज ऑफ वन पार्ट ऑफ मैक्यूरी एंड टू पार्ट ऑफ चाक बाई वेट डिसएडवाटेजेस हाफ हाइड्रोगरम मैक्यूरी फॉर्मुलेशन The formulation was withdrawn in nineteen sixty seven because the mercury content could be a health hazard. Moreover, it was ineffective for develop prints on gold ornaments as mercury reacts with gold and marred its surface. The graphite based powder was very useful for developing imprints on silver painted objects. However, even this powder was withdrawn since it was messy to. use particularly if the examination was to be carried out in open and strong wind was blowing in that area today there are number of powders which are available in market required for the purpose of detection of latent fingerprints depending on the surface color and surface texture these powders can be applied the various types of powders which are available are comprises of black powders magnetic powders non magnetic powders fluorescent powders all of these powders work on the same mechanism we have come to an end of this video this is mcq time and the question is the formulation of hydrogram concrete are composed of option a one part of manganese and one part of water by weight option b two parts of mercury and one part of water by weight option c one part of mercury and two parts of chalk by weight option d one part of aluminium and one part of lead by weight post your answers in the comment section as we also know that in our last video somatography in forensic anthropology the mcq question is the term somatography implies option a direct identification of a person option b visual description of body option c evaluation of internal organs option d can can find cause of death and the answer is visual description of body